sun's out today. It's nice. But today we're back down on the barn. Let's go take a look at what we're working with today. I seem to keep screwing this up. There will be a more efficient way coming soon to light this darn fire. It's an improvement. I didn't get the bigger ax, but a couple weeks ago I bought this thing. I have a sledgehammer. We'll see. That's pretty soft. Yeah, right? Let's try a real piece of wood. Let's talk about this for a minute. If you chop wood, you're warm enough that you don't need it. I think I'm gonna take one of our uh, new subscribers recommendation and get myself a wood splitter or a log splitter, whatever you call it. I don't know how riveting this is to watch, but I'm getting sick of looking for stuff here over in the dark. Amazon won't have my lights for the shop to me till uh, next week, probably after the new year. And I want to be working over the weekend. So I took this light. It's like I put one of these up at the house. They're very bright. This one's actually intended for the barn outside. We're going to use it inside temporarily. And I'm just doing a really down and dirty grabbed an extension cord that I really don't care about, lopped the end of it off, and we are just gonna wire this up real quick. Probably if any electricians are watching this, I'm sorry. I know, I know, I'm just getting it done. <laughs> Okay, it's not perfect, but for a week, I'm good. All right, let's clean this crap hole up. I really do dig this old car. It's a 66 convertible Mustang. We've owned it for about 18 years. Uh, let's see if it even starts. It's, okay, that's a good sign. Come on. Don't do that. Told you. It's not a it's not your average Mustang. <laughs> Gotta fix that that rod knot. You can't hear it now, but once the motor warms up. I've been looking for those tools for weeks. <laughs> I thought one of the 
I thought maybe one of the contractors stole my battery charger, but apparently it was under that tarp. I'm so glad I didn't call him and chew him out. There it is. I'm taking all that stuff off of one laser and I just piled it onto another one. I'm not thinking clear. That's why I need a workbench. It got bent. Yep. This it was made in China. That's all fixed. Not nice. Just gotta bring in the uh oh man, these things. E gas. Oh boy, this is gonna take some serious realignment. Okay, that's a pretty darn successful day. Not bad, I put about six and a half, seven hours down here today. Got things considerably cleaner, got the machines put into place, two of the many more to come. We've got 3D printers to get put in. We've got the machine shop, the welders, the welding table. We're gonna have to build a welding table. Oh yeah, we sort of got things batched out. Things are beginning to make sense. It doesn't look so chaotic. I can work with this. It is uh, a far cry from what it was just three, four days ago. So yeah, lots to address, lots to do, lots to do, but we're getting there. All right, guys, um, I think I'm gonna be done for the night. I might come back down once I go run the dogs and feed them again. Um, who knows, but it's getting kind of late, getting a little chilly, and I don't know that I really wanna burn any more firewood. So, all right, guys, um, if this is goodbye, see you later.